We're here today with one of the newest and largest sub 250 gram ready to fly helicopters Blade has ever offered. That's kind of a mouthful, but this is a good sized helicopter. It comes in the box completely ready to fly and it's a really good looking setup. I don't own anything that looks like this and so I'm excited to fly it today. If you ask me, that's a great looking helicopter and it does come equipped with LEDs. We'll take a look at those when we plug the flight battery in. Again, it's 100% ready to fly, so you pull it out of the box and this is what you get. You got the radio, the USB charger, and the battery, which is really awesome. This is kind of advanced beginner-esque. It's designed for someone that wants something a little nicer than the Walmart helicopters, wants to get into more bigger, awesome helicopters with a fixed pitch blade. Uh, this is going to be a great option for someone like myself to knock off the rust or even someone like my awesome wife, which is going to give it a shot as long as I don't crash it in today's video. And guys, if you are already falling in love and you want to know where to buy this, it'll be linked in the description box below. Know that using that link does help support our channel and our family, but I would say hold off and let's see how it flies first. So let's put it in the air and see how it does. Based on the startup sequence of this helicopter, this may be the most advanced beginner helicopter in its price range that I've ever seen. I'm going to throw a switch from red to green, and it starts this idle process on its own. Then I just throttle up, and we should be able to take off. Just eased up on the throttle. I gotta say, this thing sounds really cool. What do you think of that, Abby? That's pretty awesome, it's isn't cool. it? It's cool. On helicopters, mate, up or down. Yeah, that's right. You cool. gotta pick sky or ground. Yep. Uh, so there's a hover right out of the box, just barely messing with throttle. We have about a two mile an hour breeze. So we'll get a little bit of drift with this. It's not like it's got a GPS locked on or anything. Wow, it's easy to fly and cruising around very nicely. Oh, I like that bright LED on the tail too. Can you see that? That bright red. Oh, can you see that bright? light abby there that led on the tail looks good and there's a blue light on the left of the helicopter then we have a green light on the right and again the red tail light is showing up it looks really good there's the rotation that's full y'all and we'll keep it up here in the sky so it's easy for abby to film and let's go to high rates a little bit faster on that here's low and high back to low i want to cruise around at full throttle we're on a full forward and full full throttle. It's it's got some speed. It definitely has speed. If you keep that up at full throttle and full forward, it moves. <laughs> kind of nice. I like that. Very agile little helicopter. Yeah, feels like I have really good control over it. It feels like it has some weight to it. This doesn't feel like your traditional little lightweight helicopter. And now let's go into full throttle there. High rates. Bounce off the ground. I did lightly, yes. <laughs> we're going into high rates now and we're going to kind of push that full forward. There we go. It's definitely much more snappy, way more agile. Here we go. Full throttle pass, full throttle and full forward. Full throttle and full forward. It drops out of the sky pretty quickly uh, just because it has so much pitch. So kind of cool. We're kind of slowing back down now. I want to get in close if I can so people can hear this thing. It just sounds awesome. Kind of went behind abby there so in, in all fairness i couldn't see what it was doing <laughs> she was between me and the helicopter for a half second sounds good so i want to save a little bit of juice for abby to try flying this it's a it's a good beginner helicopter and i'm going to throw that red kill switch which will kill the rotation of both blades yeah this is very interesting little helicopter i like it so this is the transmitter that comes in the box and it has this kill switch on the top red means it's not good it's not going to fly green means it's live so you got to be careful of that and then there's the high low rate switch this had a calibration procedure before we could take off and the instructions explained it clearly i think nate doesn't like the battery tray at the bottom and he'll talk about that in a minute but i have not flown a helicopter and i don't know how long like i really have no idea this says it's aimed for beginners so fingers crossed let's see you got this abby it's uh if you panic just throttle down and let it hit the ground <laughs> it's pretty tough okay low rates low rates is good you really don't need high rates i don't think 
and the way it's facing is to the right so there you go you're getting getting it to rotate away from you is probably one of the smartest things to do so i, I say that because uh, when the helicopter is facing away from you it gives you the best orientation for our brain to understand the controls when you push right it's going to go right when you push left it's going to go left when the helicopter is facing you the controls are opposite and so it's just one less thing to worry about so i'm surprised this doesn't have altitude hold <laughs> well it's not that beginner friendly i see that <laughs> this would have altitude also. no it's good it's good to learn throttle management when you want to advance in the hobby in my opinion that's why i said at the beginning of the video this isn't necessarily the world's best beginner helicopter but it is one if a person wants to learn the hobby and advance their skill set Abby's purely focused, but she's doing a fantastic job. Yeah, this is harder to fly than I thought it would be. But you're handling it really well. I thought it was going to have out. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to focus so much on that. I just... You're fine. You're totally fine. That's okay. Oh. Like you just told everybody, <laughs> you haven't flown in forever. So basically you could say, I mean... I haven't yeah. even flown a plane in forever. It's been a while since you've had any RC in the air. However, Abby's out here with me all the time filming. Uh, she's around it, so she's got it. Like, she's flying it basically better than me. I was just cruising it around a bit faster. And, and Abby mentioned uh, one. Oh, that's okay. See, it's it's got really robust landing gear. It's and got that uh, little metal thing on the tail, too, yeah. to help yep. with those hard <laughs> And as I said, it's a little bit heavier of a helicopter, so if you start seeing yourself go down, kind of throttle up a little bit preemptively. Mm. Sa having said that, I did that. I smacked off the ground a couple times. It's just a helicopter that... You're going to have to get used to. You're doing great at the controls. You're doing good because like, you know, that's where Abby's flying. It's a smaller helicopter. It's small enough to fly indoors too. Uh, this is a very unique style of ready to fly helicopter. That binding or startup procedure that is spelled out in the instructions and do a really good job just take the time to read through them before you just turn this on because if you've ever flown any other helicopter before this is very different uh, from any other startup procedure happy if you could get back a little closer okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you're doing fine yeah i think they need low rates and extra low rates oh okay <laughs> Now, you know, you're fighting a light breeze, I so uh, this is small enough to fly inside as well, like a basketball stadium kind of thing, and really push your skills to learning throttle management with helicopters or even drones uh, rather than having altitude hold. And I can tell Abby's a little bit focused. She'd be a little more talkative if she was flying an airplane because she's focused on that throttle management. She's not bouncing off the ground up and down a bunch. Oh, and, oh dragonfly! Watch out, buddy! You know how you tell me to pick high or low when you're behind the camera? Not that easy, is it? <laughs> <laughs> I try. I just expect the best from you. Oh, well, it's a new helicopter. It's just kind of... I haven't flown helicopters in a little while either, but certainly more recent than you. I love flying my airplanes. And in today's video, we're kind of giving this thing a, a flight time test as well, a run for its money. And uh, the battery that's included fits perfectly in that battery tray. I actually love how it fits in there. And I'll show you guys that after Abby lands. But I do not like the system uh, for the screw on the bottom to open and close the hatch each time you'd swap the battery out. It's kind of like um, E-Flight boats, if you... You know that e flight e boats flight have boats. or uh, pro boats. Just pro boats. Sorry, yeah, I gotcha. wrong brand. Pro boat boats. The thumb screw. The thumb screw. Nah. They all have like four uh, thumb screws. In, in my opinion, this one was worse than that. It's, I'll show you. I'll show you. You guys are gonna want to see this. It's uh, it's good for while it's in the air. It looks great. It makes a nice clean uh, hatch, or it doesn't even look like it would open. It looks so good. But because it's kind of buried and stuff, it's a little, just a little annoying. That's the first negative thing I have to say about it. I like that they went with a universal Molex battery connector too. And you know what? This flight time is actually impressing me because... Oh, there's my green light on this. Is right it blinking? Flashing. Oh, bring it in and hover close to oh. us if you can. As, as close as possible. If not, that's okay. Just focus on a smooth landing. I'm going to just try to land it. Okay. <laughs> that was, hey, great landing. 
Remember after you throttle down, you throw that switch and Abby, honest, honestly, that was a great flight. Thank you. What I do like about the helicopter is the way it looks. It looks awesome. I like the lights. I love the bright LEDs, although I think those turn off. Let's see. Now, let's, I believe it's only when it's on. So yeah, see that bright LED on the back and then the LEDs up there too. So that's really cool. I love the overall way it looks and it flew pretty well for a beginner style helicopter. In fact, you know, significantly better than anything you'd get at Walmart or somewhere like that. Uh, but you're still dealing with just limitations on how far these throws can go. Can you guys see how much that's moving? That's in high rates. Okay, so that's where we're getting our movement on this. Uh, so we're, we're dealing with slightly advanced helicopter stuff here. Uh, as I keep saying over, it's like better than fly bar style of helicopters. The flight time was very impressive, but here's one thing that I really don't like. There's a switch on the top of the helicopter, which if you are like me and have flown hundreds of helicopters or maybe close to a hundred, hundreds of airplanes, just a, over like 2000 RCs. Generally when there's a switch on the helicopter or RC, it's an on off switch, right? That would make sense to me, but it's actually part of the calibration process. So read the instruction manual. It does a good job at laying that out. But of course, when I plugged the battery in, I assumed it was an on off switch. It's got red and green. So that could be a little bit of confusion, but as, as long as you know it moving forward, then you're doing okay. Now here's the little, check this out. Abby, get a nice tight shot of that. That's the little thumb screw thing on the bottom hatch of the helicopter that I'm talking about. It's just a little annoying. We unscrew this. Once it's loose enough, you can you don't have to unscrew it the whole way. And and I didn't know that at first. If you take the whole thing out, it's a little annoying. So, and then the battery tray drops out like this and it plugs in here at the back of the helicopter. Now you don't have a lot of freedom on what battery size you can use in here, but the nice thing is it's just a little Molex connector with a balance plug on the other side. And yes, this is a 2S, that's a little 2S battery. So that's where you're getting a little bit more power and performance. You know, it's a good, it's a good system, uh, especially when you get the right battery in there. And those batteries are gonna be really cheap too. The other nice thing is that it's got this ready to fly radio. Uh, the whole setup, you just take it out of the box and it's already bound and you're basically ready to fly. It's not like a bind and fly helicopter where you have to program your radio if you're new to the hobby and that's where ready to fly shines. If you're a person that doesn't want to do a bunch of research and learning how to bind your stuff up and, and program, you just want something to get in the air and feel a little bit hobby grade, this is where it's at. And, and actually for being sub 250 grams, that's another thing we have to remember with this kind of where it shines. I had fun flying it. Abby, you did a great job, especially Thanks. because you haven't flown anything in so long, <laughs> or especially helicopters. We'll have to get you out with more airplanes very soon. Um, and if you guys liked what you saw in this video, it'll be linked in the description box below. I'd also like to encourage you because a lot of people looking at this might be looking at their first or second helicopter. I think you should probably consider flying with AMA. That's the Academy of Model Aeronautics. Comes in at about half the price of this ready to fly helicopter and you're gonna be insured for the entire year. Know that they don't just cover uh, helicopters, they cover planes, cars, trucks, and boats. So if you enjoy the RC hobby or see yourself enjoying the RC hobby in the future, sign up for the insurance program, know that you're insured while you're flying and enjoy the monthly magazines as they come in. They're really good reads. That'll be linked in the description box below. And for today, getting out on this beautiful calm day, which is what I highly encourage you guys do if you're going to fly this, either fly indoors in a nice large open space or in a very, 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 very calm evening on your first few flights while you're learning the controls. I wanna thank God, what a mouthful, but I'm, I'm grateful. <laughs> also a massive thanks to our Patreon supporters because we couldn't do what we do as often as we do it without your all's amazing support. We like to let you guys know the pros and the cons of everything that comes to our channel. Even if it's just something like a small nuisance type of thing, we're gonna let you guys know what we like and don't like and just wanna tell our Patreon supporters thanks for all your support. Now, if you're into helicopters and you want something a little more advanced than this, we'll have one of my personal favorite helicopter videos popping up right about now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you there. Bye.